Hello again. Now this may seem a little bit odd coming from me specifically because I have been accused of being this thing before. But there have been some vloggers recently, my fellow vloggers, my peers, my equals, my competition. They've got around doing something that really is very, very arrogant. And I'm a little bit uneasy about this because it's essentially a challenge to my label of UNDISPUTED KING OF ARROGANCE ON YOUTUBE. Look, I can't help it if I'm unbelievably fantastic and I know it. That wink means I was being ironic and I'm actually quite self-deprecating at times. <laughs> I suck. See? Now, what brought all this on? Well, it all seemed to be triggered by the recent appearance of Oprah on the YouTube. And I've already done a video on that, so we're not going to cover that ground again. But basically, it, it triggered off another round of people, and it happens from time to time, triggered off another round of people who were exclaiming to the YouTube audience that YouTube uh, has become something corporate or, or the man, you know, all that kind of stuff. And back in the golden age of YouTube, there were vloggers all over the place and people who worked hard on their content and created original content sitting in their bedrooms were recognized and thanked and got all the views and honors and all that sort of crap. Take off your rose-colored glasses, people. That golden age where vloggers were the king of YouTube never existed. Now this is all boiled up again because people perceive the corporate entities on YouTube, the, the corporate partners, big business, who, who create commercial content elsewhere for television or whatever, and then put more of that content up on YouTube. And people are up in arms, we don't come to YouTube to see that, we come to see original content made by us for us. That's fine if you come here for that, go looking for that, there's plenty of it out there. But the mere fact that these corporate partners are getting the views they're getting and are getting the level of content, uh, comments they're getting, proves that people also want to see that, because if they didn't want to see it, they wouldn't watch it. It's really that simple. Now, as for the golden age of YouTube before the corporate entities started invading and bullying their way onto the lists, never happened. You know what? In the early days of YouTube, I've been around here for about a year and a half as a registered user, a little bit longer than that uh, before I registered an account and started blogging and stuff like that. And it's always been the same. The lowest common denominator stuff, the girls in their underwear, the skimpy clothing, the, the videos about sexy chicks, the brainless celebrity gossip stuff, has always been on the most discussed list, has always been on the, mo and on the most viewed lists as I trip over my words. The only difference now is instead of people sitting in their bedroom uploading this stuff and violating copyrights and things like that, the corporate entities are doing it themselves. They're uploading their own content. It's exactly the same stuff. There was no golden age of YouTube where the vlogger was king. And this is where the arrogance comes in because these vloggers are all, you know, going, oh, the golden age of YouTube where the vlogger was king and all that sort of stuff. And people, it's not fair. People don't want to see the commercial stuff. They want to come to see me do my vlogs and things like that. And, and it's original content and it's so much better than that. We work so hard on our stuff and it, it deserves to be seen more than that other stuff. And it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Well, listen up, sissy pants, because this is how it's going to go down. It's not all about you. If people didn't want to see that other stuff, they wouldn't watch it. The fact that it is on the most discussed and is on the most viewed lists all the time is proof, solid gold evidence that people do want to see that stuff on YouTube. Just because you don't want to see it there because you feel it's outcompeting your vlogs doesn't mean that people don't want to see it. It's just your opinion. Like this is my opinion that you're being arrogant. And when you get called arrogant by a guy who exudes as much confidence as I do, you know there's something wrong. So take a step back, relax, keep working on your videos, keep doing your very best to do whatever it is you do on here, whether it be vlogging about your day-to-day -day life or whinging about your brother or talking about politics or religion or do what I do and often point out the foibles of humanity and the incredible flaws in some people's heads that make them do ridiculously crazy stuff and say incredibly stupid stuff to the public at large. So then people like me or people like someone else can come along and go, ha, that's really stupid. Wake up. 
So get used to it, get your head out of the sand, make your videos, that's all you should be caring about, make your videos to entertain your viewers, do the best you can. That's it. I'm out. Catch you next time. As an aside, I've just realized I've done something kind of stupid. I'm playing with my green screen for the first time and I'm wearing a t-shirt that has green on it. It's probably not the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. <sighs> mm, live and learn.